Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my BoxyCharm, which is what we're going to be doing today. And I always look forward to unboxing my BoxyCharms. I get them monthly. It is a $21 a month subscription. You get four to five full-size samples. And so far I haven't been disappointed. My last BoxyCharm was so great and then if you watched last month in December, I got Boxy Lux. I finally got off that waiting list. So if you're interested in Boxy Charm or Boxy Lux, I will put that link down below. Make sure to go and check it out if it's something you're interested in. And there are also other videos so you can see what I've received. Let's dig into this box real quick. All right, so when you open the box up, you have a little card in here that tells you like what's inside of it. So for January's theme, you've got boxy and chill, and then it tells you, you know, what items are in here as well as how much they are. So if you've watched any of my other boxy charm unboxings, you know that I like to tell you what the MSRP is and then how much the box actually was. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and use some of the products that are in here. Um, I was given a couple sneak peeks, so I have an idea of what's in the box. But I'm excited because I think they only gave me two like ideas of what I was getting and then the other items are a surprise. So let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so the first thing I have in here is the Billion Dollar Brows. This is a universal eyebrow pencil. I will tell you because I have done it before, I will open the box just to get an idea of like what I need to like not do in my routine before I open the box. And I will insert the clip. I did try and use the brow pencil. And okay, this brow pencil, color's not bad. I was really excited to use it because this pencil is kind of like a gel, so it's super smooth, super glidey. The only problem is I like my brow pencil that I use because it's a little more dense when you're trying to use it, if that makes sense. Um, so when I was trying to put this on my eyebrows, so in the areas that I have hair, um, it was clinging to it, which was great, but in the areas that I don't have hair and I try and fill in, it was a different color and it was very noticeable. So then when I would go and use the spoolie to kind of like feather it out, it kind of took some of the product away. So I will not be using this. That's not how I did my brows today. This was a fail for me. All right, so for the billion dollar brows, Universal Brow Pencil, the MSRP is $18. But it does say it's specially and carefully formulated to work perfectly with most skin tones and brow colors. The self-sharpening pencil glides onto your brows without tugging or pulling your skin. The spoolie at the end makes for easy blending and the smooth and creamy formula makes for easy application. It was very creamy, it was super easy to go on. The only issue was I have some brows that are missing in certain areas that they just don't seem to grow. Um, so for me, it was a little too soft. The next item we have is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This is two ounces. It retails for $12. I actually use Briogeo. Um, I have a couple samples. I have a couple full-size bottles, but I like this. I'll get out of the shower. I will, you know, towel dry my hair and then I'll spray this in, let it sit for a little bit after I've brushed it through and then go ahead and blow dry my hair and I have no issues. So I really do like this. So it says it effectively restores hair softness, manageability, moisture and shine. Infused with the signature blend of ultra nourishing rosehip, argan and coconut oils, this spray works to detangle wet hair and protects against heat while locking in moisture, restoring luster and diminishing frizz. So the next item that we have in here is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Rainforest in the Sea Volume 2. This is an eyeshadow palette. Um, this is one of the things that was like sneak peeked saying, hey, everyone's gonna get one of these eyeshadow palettes, which I love that you get an eyeshadow palette in your boxy charm. So the cover kind of reminds me of peacock feathers. And then on the inside, you've got a mirror. And then it's just a pinwheel of the different like neutral shades. So right here, you have one matte shade, and then the rest of these are all like shimmers. 
So I'm interested to see what we can do with this. Uh, I definitely can use this for work. So we all know that I like a good neutral eyeshadow palette for work. That retails for $36. It is vegan, crease-free eyeshadow that features seven highly reflective plush micro shimmers and one matte nude. Serves as a perfect transition shade. Um, this blendable and longwear formula is enriched with vitamin E and antioxidants, helping to hydrate and protect the lids. Okay, so I do like Tarte for that because their eyeshadows, you know, are usually vegan and cruelty free and usually have some pretty good nutrients in them. So let's go ahead and look at what else we have in this box and then we'll jump into the eye look that we can make with this eyeshadow palette. So the next item in here is an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Miami Fever. This is actually one of Kathleen Light's recommendations. She loves this shade. I think it was actually a collab. I'm not really a burnt orange kind of girl, but I will wear it today. Uh, I don't know that it will last on my face all day because it's not like my favorite color. Ooh, it smells good too. And that's the thing is, I started smelling my lip glosses and sometimes my makeup. It kind of smells like vanilla or like buttercream. Don't ask me why I started smelling my makeup. So the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, it retails for $20. Um, it delivers long lasting color that perfectly outlines and fills in lips. Stunning pigments stay put all day with minimal transfer while maintaining a comfortable wear. Infused with vitamin A and antioxidants, your lips will look and feel healthy all day. I'm interested to try out the Ofra lipstick. I don't know that I'm necessarily like in love with this color. So the next item in here, and this was also a sneak peek uh, for BoxyCharm. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. I have been so excited to try these out and I saw as soon as they sneak peeked it, I was like, okay, I'm so excited for my box. I knew that we had the eyeshadow palette. I knew that we had these two, two Tatcha face masks. So the MSRP for these are $24. They nourish skin from within using the lightweight blend of rice germ oil, vitamin E, essential fatty acids, highly concentrated botanical oils and extracts. Each mask is designed for maximum absorption, delivering 20 ml of skin quenching serum and imparting an instant dewy luminous glow. A scientifically perfected trio of fermented Japanese anti-aging superfoods like green tea, rice, and algae instantly restores skin's health and radiance. All right, so on the back it says it's for normal to dry skin. Me personally, I'm oily, so I'm still gonna try it because I want to, but I'll just do it on a day that I'm not planning on putting makeup on. So this entire box came out to $110. Remember I said that I only paid $21 for this monthly subscription. That means that I got $89 of product in this box over what I'd already paid. So, you know, these are great items. These are things that I have used or tried or wanted to use. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, prime my eyes, zoom you in, and we'll start on this eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Tiki. And because it is the only matte shade in here, I'm going to pop this into my crease. And it is like my color. Like as in, this is the shade of my eyelid. I'm gonna go into this color right here, Raise. And I'm just gonna put this on the outside corner and into the crease a little bit. So my camera stopped recording. Thank goodness it gives me a warning and I can go and turn it back on. But like you can see, there is color on my eye. I was trying to put this on with a brush and it just it didn't wanna do anything. All right, so we've got some good payoff now that I've used my fingers. It is a really pretty color. For the inside corner, I'm gonna use this color Escape. I'm gonna go into this shade Heat Wave. It's kind of a pinky color. I feel like I just put three shimmery colors that are all the same on my eye. This, I can wear to work no problem because they are all new, but they are so similar in color that I'm kind of disappointed in this palette. I've never actually been disappointed in an eyeshadow palette that I've gotten from BoxyCharm, let alone a Tarte palette. I just feel like that these colors are so similar that there's not much going on in here. I'm gonna go into this color right here, Malibu. It is the darkest shade in this palette. And I'm gonna use my finger and build up the outside corner and hopefully we can get kind of like a shading 
effect going on here. All right, so there is some fallout with this shade. I am gonna go in with my Luxie 213 eye shading brush and see if I can kind of pack it on a little bit. That is a lot of fallout. In the corner of the eye, I'm gonna use this color Treasure. All right, now that is a really pretty pearlescent white. Now for under the eye, it's gonna be a lot of fun because these shimmers don't like being picked up on a brush. All right, so I'm gonna use my Luxie 213. I'm gonna take this color Raise. I'm gonna go into this color mallow and I'm going to also smudge that under the lash line. It's kind of building up, it's taking a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, put my eyeliner, mascara, and falsies on and I'll be right back so we can put on our lipstick. Okay, I'm back, I have my eyeliner, mascara, and I put my falsies on. For my false eyelashes, I use the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Meat Collection in Little Black Dress. It's like the least dramatic eyelash I have in my drawer right now, so. This eye look is not that dramatic, so I don't wanna do a super dramatic eyelash. All right, now to finish this look. You guys, this is not my color. I mean, it feels great. It's drying down, it feels nice. Um, it's not sticky or tacky. All right, so this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lip. I really like how it feels on my lips. Like, it doesn't feel like it's too drying. I'm gonna have to like wear it for a little bit longer. I'm just not going out of the house wearing it because it's not my color. It's not something that I would gravitate to. You know what, guys, I just remembered. So each card tells you what variation of boxy you got for boxy charm and mine actually says that I got variation two so if you do get boxy charm let me know what variation you got and what was in your box I'm always interested to see what other people get or you know what products they do like and if you don't get boxy charm but you're interested in doing so I do have a link down below it's not an affiliate link it's not a sponsorship it is just my refer friend link that they have on their website so go ahead check that out well, you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Click on that bell icon for notifications of new videos, which come up three times a week. And until next time, you guys, bye. I'll see you in my next video.